Welcome to my channel. In this video, we have a very interesting math problem to solve. 3 to power m minus 2 to power m is equal to 65. We are required to find the value of m. Before I proceed, I would like you to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and also share this video. Now, to proceed, I need to manipulate the left hand side of the equation without manipulating the right hand side of the equation and to do that i will do this 3 to power m bracket 2 times 1 over 2 minus 2 to power m bracket 2 times 1 over 2 is equal to 65 it is necessary that i don't manipulate this term on the right hand side now let's remember that multiplication is a commutative operation so if i have a to power m bracket n is the same thing as a to power m a to power n rather bracket m so i'll apply this here where i'll move the one over two into the bracket the same thing in this um, second term so that becomes three to power m over two bracket raised to power two minus 2 to power m over 2 bracket raised to power 2 is equal to 65. So I have difference of 2 squared, but I need to make an assumption. Let a equal to 3 to power m over 2 and let b equal to 2 to power m all over 2. So I will put the values of a and b for these and these inside this equation. So that becomes a raised to power 2 minus b raised to power 2 is equal to 65. Now let's re remember that this is difference of 2 squared. a minus b in the bracket and a plus b in another bracket will give me 65. If I open this bracket, I will have this term in the right hand side. Now, this is difference of 2 squared and the result is an odd number. So I have to express 65 as product of two odd numbers. Why must it be odd numbers? If I have an odd number added to an even number, I will have an odd number. And if I have an even number subtracted from an odd number, the result will still be an odd number. So 65 will now be written as 5 times 13. And let's remember that a minus b is less than a plus b. So a minus b will be equated to 5 and a plus b will be equated to 13. This is my equation 1 and this is my equation 2. I will now have to, I will now have to um, solve this simultaneous equation. I will add the two equations. So this will cancel this. a plus a is 2a. 5 plus 13 is 18. So a equals to 9 because 18 divided by 2 is 9. Having had the value of a, I can now comfortably look for the value of b. So a minus b is 5 using equation 1. Now, I'll put 9 here minus b is equal to 5. 9 minus 5 will now be equal to b. Now, b is 4. I have the value of a and I have the value of b. I will now substitute either of them into the um, original equation. Let's remember that we made a substitution that a is equal to 3 to power m over 2 or b is equal to 2 to power m over 2. If we use a, this first one or the second one, we will get the same value. So putting 9 for a here, that becomes 9 is equal to 3 to power m over 2. 9 is 3 to power 2 and we have 3 to power m over 2. So this will cancel this. My m over 2 will now be equal to 2, cross multiplying. m is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. If I do the same thing with b, I'll still have the same value as 4. So 2 to power m over 2 is equal to the value of b is 4. So 2 to power m over 2 is equal to 2 to power 2. This will cancel this. m over 2 is equal to 2 and m is equal to 2 times 2. 
which is 4. Now, if I put in the 4 in the original question, I will have 65. So, 3 to power 4 minus 2 to power 4 is 65. 3 to power 4 is 81. And 2 to power 4 is 16. Yes. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So, I have this. Equals to 65. Of course, if you remove 16 from 81, you get 65.